Well, hi there. A bit of a tech geek uh, day this afternoon. It's mobile phones day. I've got a few phones on the go, and I'm chopping and changing SIM cards. And um, as happens a lot of the time now, we lose the little uh, plastic outer bits when we've got micro SIM cards, and we're trying to use an older mobile phone. So, um, given that, what I'm having to do is to make. I've got a. I've got the new SIM plastic here. I've used that uh, large SIM in a, in one phone. And uh, I've got another phone that I want to use as well, and this is a dual SIM phone, so I actually need three uh, things. And I've got a combination of micro SIMs and MIDI SIMs, I don't know what that one's called, that's uh, somewhere in the way. And the size guide is here, they usually give you a card one. Uh, and you can see the full size SIM, and then the MIDI SIM is what I'm calling it, and then the micro SIM is just the chip itself. So um, I'm going to use this card, and I've made one already, and I'm making a second. So what I've done is I've drawn around this card I've cut out from the diagram. Um, the first one, I actually used the uh, SIM that came out, so I can use that SIM and draw around it. Now, notice when I draw pencil lines around this, they are uh, ever so slightly wider than the card itself so when I'm making my cuts I need to be aware of that and in fact on this one when I've drawn I've used one of the sims to make a uh, uh, a second template and drawn around that I've drawn inside those lines again because there's almost a millimeter difference not quite a millimeter almost a millimeter difference between uh, the lines that I've marked with a pencil so for example on here if I try and mark a line with the pencil along there you can see the line is actually outside the edge that I'm going to so maybe about a millimeter half a millimeter so I need to take that into account so in, in this case I drew round the outside of the midi sim and then I drew again a second set of lines that half a millimeter or so one to a half millimeter or so in and then cutting now I need to cut the uh, midi sim the smaller shape out first because if I cut this uh, piece out the larger piece and then try and cut that smaller piece out I have nothing to hold on to and it'll be fiddly this plastic is medium soft so it's flexible and uh, I've got a, a, a standard cutting knife if that was any more broken I'd probably uh, put it onto a new blade but I'm a cheapskate that's why I'm saving the two dollars of buying a new sim card so um, I come in and the first thing to do is to cut in the corners so I don't want to overextend any of these lines otherwise I'll cut pieces off sorry I don't want to overextend any of these lines otherwise I'll cut pieces off so I want to make the start and end points so basically I'll put the point of the uh, cutting knife on the corner that I want to cut and I'll press down till it goes through and then I'll go round I'll twist this round and do uh, yeah, that one and then again that corner and that corner so I've got all those and then I have to go around again this time doing the, the, the thinner corners you might call them until all the corners are done and and you'll be able to see on the other side of the card if you're anywhere near through you should just get the the, the corner sections and um, after that once all the corners are done a bit like doing a jigsaw um, we then do the lines and I, I, I put um, to do this and hold the worst injuries I've I've seen in a workshop were actually was actually with one of these uh, praise God because that's not really a very serious injury that can happen in a workshop and basically somebody cutting through a stiff material like this it takes quite a lot of force to get a nice even cut like going towards the end of the cut and uh, the, the, the knife moves quickly and because they had a lot of power and not much control they uh, came off the board and went into the leg uh, and obviously these blades cut very easily through flesh so I'm always a bit mindful of that uh, so I don't put my fingers uh, before the blade when I'm cutting Let's see if I can set this up somewhere mm -mm -mm. So I don't put my fingers before the blade where I'm cutting the direction, always keep them to one side. And uh, it takes a, a medium, as I said, a medium amount of pressure. So I'm starting, I'm just finishing off my cuts here. Once I've made the cuts on this, this face around through the, to the corners that have connected, I then turn it over again and I might need to just press through gently 
different areas where it's still connected until it comes out thus here's one I made earlier um, while it's still in I can check the MIDI sim when you have four or five sims on the go always trying to get, make a good notes of which one I would recommend making a, a numbers one two three and four or something to remember them thankfully my two Vodafone sims uh, my other Vodafone sims are micro sims so it's smaller than this it's easily distinguishable and I might need to go round and file off edges in order to get that to fit or even make a few cuts it's ever so slightly small which is rather it be than the too big so I'll go around and trim those through until it fits the last thing will be to make the cuts around there so uh, I'll trim that off and get it fitted and uh, I'll see you in a moment so there we go it's uh, the sims nice and set flush now in there the word about tolerance well the uh, pin plates on here that need to be connected to there's if that's in the center point we've got a millimeter either way it's quite a lot in terms of the space here so uh, don't be too worried but it needs to be of course somewhere within to get it right and you can see here some of the pieces that have been shaving off to get this sim fitted and yeah we can be pretty pretty precise uh, with the material they're taking these small pieces off so it's soft remember to keep your blade at 90 degrees to the uh, material when you're cutting it rather than if you cut it at an angle of course you'll end up with a, a variation in the thick in the thickness and the, the width so nice and straight firm pressure and I'll just do a cut through there show you and it usually kind of clicks when you get through so it's reasonably firm pressure this is why I was saying be careful when you are drawing the knife across the material that's pulling it uh, don't have yourself or your fingers in the way and <coughs> once that's in so now uh, that's nice and flush there's a small gap in this corner but again as long as it doesn't move that's actually I can, hey, I can pick it up if you pick it up sometimes with the with the manufactured ones they, they just fall out so I'm pleased with that and then I'll make these uh, large cuts here and here and then just take a little corner off at the end to make the sim fit and that should then uh, take it into this Alcatel and this Vodafone sim become the uh, backup um, call uh, to Vodafone in, in um, New Zealand now I think the only one running the 2G service and the 2G service might be better sometimes or the only one accessible in weaker and more uh, dangerous conditions so um, good, uh, good choice just to have a backup phone and then this one's becoming my business phone prayerfully if with it with the same th same reason because the Vodafone network can still use these older phones and I only use it for text I'll have to see him pray if that comes alive at any point <laughs> and then uh, my main phone can still stay on uh, 4G GSM um, so there you go that's just a little bit of thing save yourself a couple of dollars and uh, certainly a walk down to the supermarket and maybe even a bit of a thing because they sometimes insist when you're buying new sim if I'm just using it for that plastic clip thing it's a bit wasteful uh, but they want me to put $10 on it so I'd have to put $10 on that plus the $2 for the thing then spend the time phoning the company and get it back and actually it's a nice uh, uh, job to do you can as always if we put our knife down for any length of time put the blade back in and away and have a good time be nice to each other and voila